My name is Angus Hamilton. I'm 70 years old. My wife is Deborah Hamilton, and we've been riding motorcycles for 36 years. This is our first major cross-country motorcycle trip since Debbie has started PD. We've known since Debbie's been in her 20s that she had some kidney damage. You know, how's this going to affect us? What are we going to do? You know, we're pretty active. We like to do a lot of things. Studies show that home dialysis has better outcomes as compared to the in-center hemodialysis. So that's why it's a preferred modality to start dialysis. My name is uh, Deborah Hamilton. I'm 70 years old. How did we decide that uh, the, the PD at home was the better option. Uh, you don't have to come to a clinic three times a, you know, three times a week. Uh, it is done at night, so most of the disruption is not you know, during the day. We can still do just about everything we've done you know, every other, every other uh, day. When I first educated Deb and Angus on PD, or peritoneal dialysis, they had questioned about vacationing because it is an important part of their life, and I explained to them what would be involved in traveling. What Deb and Angus are doing, that's the reason we all do what we do. It, we're all here to help patients to be able to continue to have a quality of life and to enjoy life to its fullest, so this was very exciting for us. Uh, my supervisor let me know that there was um, a PD patient and her husband wanting to travel to multiple, multiple locations by motorcycle um, across the United States um, and asked if I would uh, help arrange and follow up with the deliveries. With the PD, with this machine, with working with Baxter and U.S. Renal, the supplies are set up. They had a, a lady, uh, I gave her where we were staying, when I would be there, what I needed. This trip that Deb and Angus are taking across the country is hands down the biggest undertaking that we have ever had in this center planning patient travel. The social worker has spent countless hours planning drop-offs, um, backup hemo centers, lab draw stations for them across the country as they're going to make sure that they have everything they need on this trip. Um, my biggest hope is that Deb and Angus's willingness to share their journey with the world inspires other dialysis patients to get out and start their own adventures because kidney disease is not the end of life. It's just starting a different way of life and we want to make that happen for them. What words of wisdom would I, would I maybe give or advice to a caregiver or a spouse? Just go for it, go do something. I mean, we met so many nice people across the country that were so interested in what we're doing and, and saying, hey, you, you guys could do that. And I'm going, well, you guys could do this too. Go do it, don't sit at home. <laughs>